besties, I started the new vlog. Um, if you watched the last one, you know I'm just immediately filming the scene afterwards. I'm also putting up stuff. <laughs> but I don't even know if I'm like fully in focus or not. Because we're in the basement and I'm putting stuff up. Um, I have a lot of work to do. I was going to work out, but my stomach's hurting. Um, I've also got to conserve energy. I'm putting in a new sink. So there's that. So, yeah. Um, I am still reading on the subject of unmentionable things. So I got to get that finished today. I got a ton of books due this week and a ton of backup work, uh, backup work to do. So it's going to be busy. But I will catch y'all up in a bit when I catch my breath. Cookies, I don't know how well you can see me. They're kind of in the dark. I'm trying to do more natural light for the house. It makes the dogs happy. Um, so it is Tuesday. Um, it's in the morning. I'm not doing workouts in the morning. I'm trying to, you know, get Ethan more active because he wants to be. So we're going to try to do him in the evening when he has more time. Yeah. Um, had a really bad headache yesterday, but I got a lot done. Um, it's just like parametric pressure stuff. I really hate it. But I did finish on the subject of unmentionable things and a venom so dark and sweet. And I started mere more mere uh, mere mortals. On the subject of unmentionable things was really good. It talked openly about sex um, and stuff like that. I would akin it to Forever from Judy Bloom. So it was really good. I think it's a very informative uh, book for uh, teenagers. I'd give it a 5 out of 5, I think. I think I'm going to go with that. Either that or 4.5 out of 5. I'm going to have to think about that. Um, a Venom So Dark and Sweet is a really action-packed sequel to A Magic Steeped in Poison. Um, I liked A Magic Steeped in Poison better than A Venom Dark and Sweet. It just, it felt like it was rushed. I didn't understand the necessity for the other POV. And just, it just, you know, it's just so fast. And, like, it didn't flow as well as a magic steeped in poison. But it was really good. Um, the conclusion was really good. I liked the twists and turns of it. So I'm thinking I'm going to give that one a, either a 3.5 or a 4 out of 5. One of those two. Um, Mere Mortals is a coming-of-age vampire story. Sounds like it's going to be really good, so I'm um, happy about that one. I have a lot, a lot of reviews today. I think it's like 10 or so. Um, and I also need to start writing, or start reading. I need to start reading um, The Decoy Girlfriend, which is due tomorrow, and Beguiled, which is due tomorrow. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a busy day, so I will catch y'all up in a bit. Alright, I have no idea how the lighting is or if I'm even pointed at myself or what, but... Oh my god. Freaking hair on my glasses. Um, but I am about to go grocery shopping. It is like 6 in the morning. Um, it's Wednesday. Hello. I did not finish Decoy Girlfriend yesterday or Beguiled. I have been a little sick. This is not why I'm wearing a mask. I have tested negative for COVID and everything. Um, I'm wearing a mask because I don't want to get it. <laughs> um, but I've been a little sick with what I believe is a sinus infection. Plus the barometric pressure. I know that's not how you pronounce it, but it's 6 in the morning. You have to give me some leeway. Um, so anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, there's that. <laughs> Um, I did not feel the best, so I went to bed at like 9.30ish, I can't remember. I passed out at some point. Anyways, so I feel a little bit better. Um, we are in need of groceries. We couldn't go out this weekend and get any because of things like, you know, the, the demon sink remodel <laughs> and, uh, you know, people that own older homes, some of those, some of the ways that they did stuff was really kooky back in the day. Really interesting. Anyways, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, that took up our whole weekend. We didn't have time to go out grocery shopping. So, I'm doing it right now. So, I will, um, up, so, I thought I'd just do an update while I kind of wait for the store to get a little bit fuller. I mean, it's 6 a.m. It's not going to get very full, but, like, I, I don't, I don't want to be one of those people that bursts through the doors as soon as they open. 
I guess I still am, but like, I don't want to be like the very first. I'm waiting on a couple people to walk in. <laughs> um, God, I hate that. I hate what I've become. But this is very low level crowds. And I get my shopping done. And oh my God, that man's walking really fast out there. Oh, he's complaining about something. Oh, God. What are you doing, dude? Huh. He came out. He checked his back tire. And he's walking back in. This is not a Walmart. There's not a tire center here. Don't know what's going on. Anyways, I'll just stay clear of him. Anyways, um... Yeah. 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 I hate what I've become, but, like, this is the least amount of people that I will see today. And it's the best way to shop, you know, to prevent COVID and stuff like that. It's just, I hate this. Also, like, I'm going to be super busy. I got to finish the decoy girlfriend. I got to finish Beguiled. Um, I have to jump into a bloody fool for love. Uh, what else is there? There's the Paella Santiago series I have to jump into. And I feel like there was, like, a couple more. I also have to do a decoy girlfriend creative post. I still got to do all the reviews, like, the ten reviews. Like, I'm just, I'm so busy. Uh, so, I got to get this done. Anyways, I will catch y'all up in a bit. Hey, bookies. It is Thursday. Is it Thursday? Yes, yeah, Thursday. Oh, Lord. It's been a week. I'm behind. <laughs> um, so, I am sitting down. I'm trying to go back onto a night shift schedule, so we'll see how that works. But I'm going to work out here. This is a little porch area um, <laughs> to kind of an office area. Hi, baby Fila. Um, I got some hot chocolate. I got water. I'm going to stay out here and work because I'm ready for fall, y'all. I'm ready for fall. Um, just kind of want to be out here. It's nice. The seat is relaxing. It helps. A little bit with my ADHD because I can rock back and forth. So on today's agenda, well for right now because I'm going to work for an hour and then I'm going to read for an hour. Um, for the agenda right now, I am going to work on reviews and get the ones I need to post, post. Um, and then once that, those are posted, um, I'm going to work on just those two reviews I'm missing right now. I know I'm missing four, but I have two ready to go. Um, Work on those, get those posted, and then I'm gonna work on Instagram for a little bit. Um, work down my little to-do list, and yeah, I think that's it. Um, still on the decoy girlfriend and beguiled. I didn't get to them yesterday because I was really sick. I still kind of am sick. My stomach hurts a lot, um, but I think that's just—I think that's just like um, sinus infection, phlegm. Yeah, all that stuff. So I'm testing negative, so like, I don't know. Whenever like it rains a lot and stuff and it's like there's a lot of pressure outside, atmospheric pressure, I get really sick. Um, and if I don't keep up with my meds, um, and we've also changed the air filter, so hoping that helps. But yeah, um, anyway, so that's it for the update, so I'll catch y'all up in a bit. Hey, bookies, it is Monday. <laughs> I missed a couple of days. It's been hectic, and then I just, I didn't feel well. I was still recovering from a bit of a sinus infection, all that jazz. I didn't really read that much. I'm just going to be completely honest with you. Oh, well. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that is uh, it for this week's vlog. Not much happened beyond this, but, yeah, thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all next week. Bye.